Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. I've got an urgent request that I'm asking our listeners to please take the time to do this. This letter written by my wife called Open Letter to the Five Docs is extremely critical information. It details about some of the some of the events that took place in our home back in 2021 when my father-in-law was not only injected with 21 mils of peroxide but was also nebulized with a formula 80 times stronger without saline, totally obliterating Dr. McCullough's his own formula of what he said was a safe formula to use on my father-in-law that was led to his demise, his ultimate death. It was determined by a pathologist to be a homicide. He also implicated others that were involved in this, other medical professionals, I'll just say at this time. But there was one statement that has always stuck with me, and that's from uh, Dr. Sherry. She said to me she was very concerned about what this would do to the movement, especially this one here, the five docs. She never took the time to talk to us further after she even admitted that this was a poison that was given to my father-in-law. And she had some pretty other heavy-duty words that she said as well. But we knew that this would not hurt this group, nor the movement itself, had the doctors done what they did when they started the movement to begin with, and that was standing for humanity. That was the whole point of all these doctors that we interviewed. They were out there standing for humanity. That's what gave us a passion to be a platform for them was because they cared about what's happening to people, everyday people like you and like me, like my, my, my wife, my father-in-law as well. But when it came to a few doctors that were willing to not only in one case, we don't even know what Dr. Madej's intention was to come there, especially when you look at the article here, right? Five day, or excuse me, two months before she comes to our house in December of 2021, she had this interview with Dr. Northrup. And in that interview, she said five to six mils of 3% peroxide, food grade peroxide in a 500 mil bag. Then she comes to our home only two months later, four times the dosage. As Sherry said, it was a poison to give that much dosage of peroxide in an IV bag. She comes and injects my father-in-law, myself, and my wife. My wife nearly died herself, not only from Carrie's treatment, but other horrible treatment that was done to her in Florida, just like my father-in-law. Anyway, we're asking you, post this everywhere you can. We want to salvage the movement. Somebody's got to make a stand. We're asking these docs, to speak up, say something. You know, Carrie could be just asked, look, until this situation is fully resolved, we need you to step down. Just step down until the situation is fully resolved. Because after all, they have all received the autopsy report as well. They know it's a homicide. I would think they would do the right thing. Let's Stand for integrity. What you stood for on our platforms was integrity for the rights of people that you felt that were harmed. And we won't say what they were harmed by, but you know what they were harmed by. We stood by you 100%. And now we're asking you to stand with us. And we're asking our friends, post this letter everywhere. Also too, the plane crash. We put this evidence in here because it was a trend of lie after lie after lie. And you need to know about it. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget your Twitter, your Facebook, your TikTok, wherever you possibly can. Where you see people speaking about it, promoting, let them know. Let them be aware of what's going on. That's how you preserve the movement. That's how you preserve it. Accountability must be priority.